Today, CBS This Morning gave us our first look inside the National Museum of African American History and Culture. The $540 million Smithsonian project opens next week on the National Mall. 60 Minutes has been following the museum for two years. It was then that we met Lonnie Bunch, the visionary founding director. When all of this is finally complete, what will America have? America will have a place that allows them to remember, to remember how much we as a country have been improved, changed, challenged, and made better by the African American experience. Today, the museum is an eight-story journey through time, from slavery on the bottom floor up through Jim Crow and civil rights to the heights of achievement. Some artifacts like this segregated rail car were so large, the museum had to be built around them. Others emerged from a box in the attic. Oh my goodness. Now did somebody already look at some of these things? No. no. Smithsonian experts asked Americans for their treasures and 3,000 people came to 16 events. Mary Elliott and Nancy Burkhaw are curators. How do you convince someone to give up a priceless family heirloom. Our museum pitches itself. People in America have been waiting for this moment. And so literally they just hand us things. Mr. Jesse Burke was an enslaved man and he was charged with playing this violin and entertaining the slaveholder and his guests. A Smithsonian warehouse collected the story and these are some of the lines. Received by Grigsby E. Thomas, the sum of $350 in full payment for a Negro boy by the name of Jim, about 10 years old. Jim might have known these, shackles dating before 1860, bondage that the owner of this Bible tried to break with a bloody rebellion. Nat Turner said he was commanded by God. His Bible was taken before his execution. This is not the American Museum of Slavery. This is not the museum of tragedy. It is not the museum of difficult moments. It is the museum that says, here is a balanced history of America that allows us to cry and smile. The museum, which opens on the 24th, was authorized by Congress in 1929. Its realization, 87 years later, affirms the motto of the struggle itself, making a way out of no way.